This is welcome to part two of the prank special. We also have this uh, bit of a doozy set up here. It's a basic pan. It's not to be perfectly flat, but uh, the water has to create serve tension, so there has to be a bit of a lip to it at least. Not that big, but it has to be some lip. Um, basically, you slide something that's really thin and plastic under it to flip it over, okay? And then you take it out, and then it basically sits there because of the, the surface tension of the water. And I basically put three jars here, and that's going to be really difficult to deal with. Because no matter how you do it, it's going to make a huge mess. So yeah, that's a pretty ultimate prank. And uh, I just figured I'd include this in the second part segment, which is going to be actually very short. Because... Uh, there's no stop motion feature on my phone, which is very odd. So I'm going to do maybe 10 minutes, uh, no, not even 10 minutes. I'm going to do like a minute of raw footage to show you what I'm going to do and how, what I'm making. And like what actually stuff I'm using to set up the prank and all that. And then we are done with the segment. So we'll see you when the prank is complete. Alright, so... Basically, my plan is, I don't know if these cups are covered at all, I just want to cover this full room. I'm going to be using this to fill up the water, and then pour just a little bit in each one, since you can't walk through it, which is the plan in the first place that makes the actual uh, idea for the prank cool. So, uh, we're going to do that, and then we will uh, see each other on the flip side. I'll give you a little segment as a little bit of bonus footage of when I'm like maybe a third of the way done, or maybe a quarter. Just to see what it'll look like as the end product. And then past that, we're freaking good to go in part three. I'll see you guys once it's quarter way done. Uh, we might have killed one too many sea animals for this to be a good prank. This is a lot of fun being wasted. Do not try this at home. Okay, definitely don't try this at home. Makes sense. Alrighty. I'm going to get you guys up close and personal in the action. I don't know what's the best strategy to do this, if it's filling it one by one, picking up this, then picking up a cup, then picking up that. That's going to take a lot of time to do, but that might be the better option, or I can make a ring around my body. But we're going to start about right here, make about a good circle. Let's just make the points here. Make it about right uh, here, because I'm not, uh, I don't think they're going to be bringing anything home. I don't think they're going to the store, hopefully. Because that would suck for them. This is just a basic ring. I don't know actually how long this is going to extend for. But yeah, that's the basic ring. And we're just going to fill that afterwards. And then I'll give you a little taste of that. Oh wow, this sure is great content, guys. Oh fudge, that's a mistake. Filling foam cups is fun. This did not go the way I expected. Because they're going to topple extremely easily. I didn't think about that. Well, that's a mistake. I'm going to go clean that up. And uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, my definition of cleaning up has been fulfilled. Let's continue with this process. So you just got to be really gentle. One point. I want to fill this cup a little bit more so it tampers down. Look at this. This is some really great content.